Hi, I'm Julie Smith at Royal Elementary School. All of us in Florence One Schools are committed to ensuring your child's safety. In this video, we will take you on a tour of our building to show you some of the things that we have put in place to make sure that all of our schools are safe and welcoming for students, teachers, and staff. All staff members will be required to enter through our main entrance where they will complete an employee monitoring form and where their temperatures will be screened electronically. If deemed necessary, they will be further screened using a thermal thermometer. All visitors will also be screened at this station and no one will be allowed to enter any part of our school building. Late students will be signed in at this location. In addition, provisions have been made for parents to drop off any items such as lunch boxes, Chromebooks, homework, etc. in this location. All deliveries from vendors will also be restricted to our foyer area. All visitors will be required to complete a visitor monitoring form. From the moment your child arrives at school, we will be practicing social distancing. Students arriving in cars will be supervised by staff members to ensure that they are adhering to social distancing requirements. Our car line has been carefully and clearly marked with cones and decals to indicate where students are to stand and where cars may load and unload each day. Afternoon car dismissal will utilize technology to call students individually from their classrooms. Students arriving in buses will be met by Royal staff members. The bus loading and unloading areas have been clearly marked to ensure that students are practicing safe social distancing. Students who are walkers will enter through the car rider entrance for temperature screening. All students, car riders, bus riders, and walkers will have their temperatures taken as they enter the building. This will be done using a state-of-the-art infrared camera. Any student whose temperature registers 100.4 or more will be screened again by our nurse using a handheld thermal thermometer. Students found to have temperatures will be removed from the line and assigned to a monitoring isolation area for further intervention. Students who are determined to have a temperature will not come in contact with other students. Floor decals designating the mandated six-foot social distancing requirement have been placed in all hallways. Students will be instructed to use these decals to ensure that they are adhering to the social distancing protocol. Royal staff members will be assigned to monitor students as they move throughout the building to ensure compliance. In addition, movement through our halls has been carefully mapped to ensure that there is a one-way traffic flow at all times. Classrooms will also maintain the required six-foot separation. Students in cohort A will be seated six feet apart, as will students in cohort B. Classroom desks, chairs, sinks, and bathrooms will be thoroughly sanitized on a set schedule throughout the day. No materials will be shared among students. Each of our related arts classrooms has been redesigned to comply with social distancing guidelines. Students in art will have individualized art supply packets for their use. In music and PE, equipment will not be shared and activities will be designed to adhere to CDC guidelines. Our goal is to have our students experience a normal school day while adhering to the required guidelines. Lunch will be served in our cafeteria with tables separated by the required six feet. Student seating has also been clearly marked to ensure social distancing guidelines. Classrooms with restrooms will utilize these to minimize wait time and hall congestion. Each classroom bathroom will be monitored regularly by an assigned custodian and sanitized as needed throughout the day. Access to hall restrooms for classes without their own restroom will be scheduled to ensure that they are monitored and sanitized regularly. A water bottle refilling station has also been installed so that students have access to water as needed. The drinking fountains will no longer be utilized. 
Throughout the school day and after school, our custodial staff will clean and sanitize all rooms and furniture using cleaners and equipment designed to ensure that every surface is disinfected for the next school day. We hope that this video has been helpful in providing you with information regarding the procedures that have been put in place to ensure your child's safety. We are confident that we can meet the challenges with a renewed commitment to ensure that your children are provided with a safe, happy, and inviting learning environment.